hey everyone welcome back to my channel today let's go ahead and talk about clairsentience so clairsentience is basically feeling psychic feeling intuitive feeling what you're feeling through your intuition and psychic ability and yes i use psychic and intuition interchangeably because to me they mean the same thing basically same same um but basically clairsentience is clear feeling when you are picking up on um something intuitively and you're feeling what's happening so whether it's you simply feeling what's going on behind the scenes like maybe you're picking up on somebody else's emotions for example and actually feeling what they're going through so this could be you for example doing a reading and you're beginning to feel some sadness or some happiness or some anger or whatever it might be uh, or maybe you're just simply feeling something actually in your physical body so for example maybe when you're channeling and doing readings you are feeling your body starts to feel hot or it starts to feel cold it's different many people will have different things happening to them if you have clairsentient ability some people their nose will itch or an eye will twitch or their ear will itch or you know what i mean or they'll stop feeling start feeling hot start feeling cold things like that so it's going to be you have to know yourself and if you have clairsentient ability uh what happens to you i personally have had phases of almost everything i've had phases where i feel hot where i feel cold when i'm channeling something but what i realized was for me personally when i felt cold it was more like a uncomfortable in my bones bone chilling kind of a cold when i found out that somebody was doing something deceptive or they were lying I've had times where I felt goosebumps during a reading through my clairsentience and there's been both good it being both a good thing and a bad thing in different scenarios like there's been times where it's like I get the excited goosebumps and I'm like oh look I got goosebumps where it was more of like a peaceful confirmation of what I was picking up on in that reading there's been other times where I've had the eerie kind of goosebumps where like the hair standing up on my arms uncomfortable kind of goosebumps before when it was more of a negative reading so those are all examples of clairsentience so whether you are feeling more of an emotion or whether you are actually feeling a physical change in your body those are all forms of clairsentience when you're doing a reading so the best way to figure out for you, an example of maybe when you've experienced it is to think back to a time when you for maybe think back to a time where you were feeling intuitively that something negative was about to happen. Where did you feel that in your body? Was it an emotion you felt somewhere maybe in your stomach or uh, did your temperature change? Did you feel hot or cold? Did you did an eye twitch? you know feel that what did it feel like for you and then think back to a time where you intuitively feel like something good was going on or about to happen and you know it either of these were eventually confirmed later where did you feel that good thing in your body was it just more of an emotion again did you feel a sensation somewhere in your body did your nose itch <laughs> i'm just throwing out random things where did you feel it and that's going to help kind of help you navigate how your clear sentience works for you and these things can all change over time like i said i've had different periods of time where when i was channeling maybe my eye left eye was twitching or maybe um i was going through a period where my nose was itching when i was getting a download like there's been different things at different points in time but there are have also been a few things that are kind of consistent for me, such as the goosebumps, whether it's a good feeling of goosebumps or negative eerie kind or the hot and cold, cold meaning somebody is maybe being shady or um, lying or a betrayal versus the hot being more of like, man, you're onto something. But it, it's when I, when I feel hot during a reading, it's more of like a, passionate message that spirit is feeling strongly about that they like hey tell this now tell us now whether it's good or bad just tell us now the cold i usually feel me personally is usually more of like 
just someone who is like I said shady or doing something behind the scenes that could be harmful um, even if it's just in terms of hurting feelings or maybe like an example this is just an example would be someone who was cheating or for an example feeling that cold feeling when doing a reading like oh they're lying they're hiding something and it's gonna hurt when it comes out and it's revealed that kind of a thing also in order to navigate kind of with all the clairs of what is your ego or your fear or just I guess for for lack of better words delusional thoughts versus what's an actual clairsentient feeling coming through is um there's not really any extremes like even though I may feel like an eerie feeling for example that is confirming something negative in a reading I personally am not feeling an extreme fear or anything like that it's just more of yeah this isn't good and it's kind of more of a neutral um realization whereas if i were to be angry while tapping into an energy in a reading and i know it's not my anger um i would be able to decipher okay i'm feeling angry when picking up on this but i know it's not me if you get to the point where it's like you can't distinguish you versus what you're experiencing in the reading then you may be that may not be clear sentience you may be going through something else or experiencing something else does that make sense? Like you have to be able to um, use your discernment and have also self-awareness to know I'm picking up while doing on this while doing this reading and it's making me feel this way, but I know this is not my actual emotion or this is not my actual feeling. And once this reading is done, it'll be purged. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's pretty much all I have on clairsentience. Comment below if you have had some clairsentient experiences. How did it play out for you? What did it feel like? What did you experience? Um, how was it confirmed later, for example? Comment below, I like reading those. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you feel like you want to. You can always book a personal reading with me on my website. The information is down below in the description. Share this around and I will talk to you another time. Bye.